Hi everybody. Um, right now I'm going to teach you how to use a at font face font generator for your CSS. Um, this should solve all of the problems that we've been having as of late in our coding class. So first I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in font squirrel as you can see right here and up pops their website. I'm going to click on their font face generator. Okay, so I've got this generator here and I want it to be set to optimal. And then I'm going to add some fonts. All right, I happen to have a font that's downloaded and that's what you have to do too, is download it onto your um, desktop and then have it available. And I'm gonna choose my chunk five font and I'm gonna click open. And it's going to upload it and now it's going to download a kit for us and it's going to take this font and it's going to create several different versions of this font and it's also going to generate the CSS so we can just copy and paste it into our code so I'm going to hit download your kit waiting waiting and there we go okay so I want to move this over so it's out of my bay Okay, and I want to take this and I'm going to drag it to my desktop and open it up and extract it. If you're a PC, you will have to extract um, all files. And if you're Mac, then you just have to double click on it and it unzips it for you. I'm going to skip that specimen file. I don't need it. I want to take these fonts. I'm going to take the EOT file, the .woff file, and I can hold down the control key and click on it. Um, I want to go ahead and grab this chunk 5 hyphen web font and I'm going to grab this one that says dot woff2 and I think that's going to do it and I'm going to take those files and I'm going to drag them into my green day folder which I have happen to have right here I'm going to open up that style sheet right there so and it even offers it right here for me um, I'm gonna open it with notepad and it has offered to me all of this code and so I can go like this and separate it out you don't have to necessarily do this because as you know HTML does not care about white space so you can add it or you can not. I'm going to just do this though so we can see what's going on. So what it's done is it's generated all of this um, code in CSS so that it works in all browsers. Isn't that handy? Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it, Control C or Command C, and I'm going to take it back into my Blue Griffin file. Make that large. And all I have to do is just come down here anywhere past one of the curly braces and then paste it. Control V. And isn't that nice? Okay, so I've got this right here and then I need to come into wherever I want to use that font and cite it. Style it with that font hyphen family colon and then I'm going to type in, look, this right here. And I even want to take that those quotes around it. I'm going to do a control C and then I'm going to pop it in there. Control V. Okay, so when I go to WYSIWYG, however, it's not going to work. So it's not showing right there. However, if I go up here and I click on the preview in a browser, it'll work. Isn't that nice? You see? It can work. And I'm sure if I decided to um, view it in Firefox, it will work. But that's how we use the font squirrel at font face generator. Oh, happy day. Jeez.